Hey guys, it's Austin. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video and I wanted to put a new one out. So here is what I'm going to do today. This is my main deck. It is a Selesnya Aggro standard. It's normally what I play with it, my Friday Night Magics, and just for having fun. Um, it's almost complete, I like to say, because all of this is done. The main portion, but my sideboard still needs quite a bit of work, uh, which we will go over towards the end of the video. Uh, but for now, I will tell you what's in the deck. I have 28 creatures, 8 spells, 1 artifact, 8 guild gates, 11 forests, and 4 planes. Uh, it's a 60 card deck. Um, and I will go over. I have 12 1 drop creatures, 11 2 drop creatures, four three drop creatures and a four drop creature which is my legendary creature it's uh, Nylea God of the Hunt then I have eight two drop spells and a bow of Nylea which is a three drop artifact I will go over the creatures that I have I try to keep consistency so if I find a creature of like I put as many as I can into the deck which you will see here I have four wasteland vipers it's a one drop for one two with death touch and it has a blood rush ability. Four Elvish Mystics. So one for one one and allows me to tap it to put another uh, force into my mana pool. And I have four Dryad Militants. It's a one drop for two one. I can either do a force or a plane. So depending on my draw I can play it either way. Going into my two drop creatures. I have three Leaf Crown Dryads. It's a two for two two. Um, the main reason I put this in is because I can bestow it onto another creature and it helps with flight control because that creature gains reach and has two two. I have four Colonian Tuskers. It's a two drop for three three. I also have four Fleece Main Lions. It's a two drop for a three three and has a monstrous ability. Whenever he becomes monstrous, he becomes indestructible, hexproof, and gains a one one counter, which is a it's a deadly card once you get it too monstrous. And then I have four Loxidan Smiters. It's a three drop for a four four, and he can't be countered. And if he's in my hand and a spell um, causes me to discard him, I I put it onto the battlefield for free instead of. Discarding. I also have a Nylea, God of the Hunt, which is a great card if you can um, get her to where your devotion is 5, which with this deck is no problem because I can call creatures out very quickly, which is how I set it up. Spell wise, I have 4 Call of the Conclaves, which allow me to put a 3 3 green centaur creature onto the battlefield. And I have 4 Selesnya Charms, which give me a couple options. I could put a 2 2. I can put a 2-2 two -two counter on a creature and he gains trample so the end of turn I can exile target creature with power 5 or greater or I can put a 2-2 two -two white knight with vigilance onto the battlefield. Which are my tokens right here. These are the two separate tokens that this deck can call out. And I have a bow of Nylea as an artifact which is a nice because it gives um, attacking creatures have death touch which is very helpful. It's a uh, an intimidation factor. So if you're attacking with lower level, uh, low sorry lower power creatures, and they see that as death touch, they might not risk blocking with their higher power creatures, which can help you put small amounts of damage, but it adds up over time. Uh, land wise, I'm running four Selesnya Guild Gates, which are the end of the battlefield tapped, um, and they can count as a green or white once they are untapped. I have four Temple Gardens which are shock lands. I can choose to pay two life if I want to to have it that turn. They also count as a green or white. I have 11 forests and I have four planes. Draw wise this deck I can get very consistent and very good draws. Um, what I like about this deck is because I'm running so many one-drop creatures, I've actually had a few turns where I, if I can draw the Elvish Mystic, I can actually put two creatures into Battlefield at once. I've had a few occasions where I've been able to put either an Elvish Mystic and a Dryad Militant or an Elvish Mystic and a Wasteland Viper in at the same time, and it, it becomes overwhelming. Um, with the main action with this deck is to flood the battlefield with as many people as possible and just do damage. 
Um, I'll go into my sideboard now. Uh, this is still up in air. I believe there's 18, I believe, cards in here. So like, it's very, it, it's not consistent right now. I can't really choose what I want to put into it exactly. Um, so I'll just go over some of the things. I have the Staff of the Wild Magnus, uh, which allows me to, whenever I put a green spell into play, I gain a life. Uh, I have a Tablet of the Guilds. Um, whenever I cast a spell, I get to choose two colors, so I choose uh, green and white, and whenever one of those colors is put out, I get to gain a life. I have Root Board and Defense. Uh, it has a populate and all creatures are indestructible this turn so I can copy a creature then all my creatures are indestructible for that turn. Um, I have a slime molding which um, I pay one green in X where X creates a XX green crew uh, sorry green ooze creature and I put him on the battlefield. I have two centering growths. Uh, they let me destroy a target artifact or enchant and then I get to populate. I have an Alive and Well card. Uh, the main reason I liked this is because it has a ability to put a 3-3 Centaur creature, and then I also get to gain 2 life for every creature I control, which I thought was really nice. Um, this card, actually, I only can use this side, which this is probably one of the first picks of me getting rid of, is Ready and Willing. Uh, I can give creatures Indestructible this turn, and then I get to untap to all the... Uh, yeah, untap each creature I control. Um, the Courser's Accord. It's a 6 drop. I get to put a 3-3 Centaur onto the battlefield, and I get to populate it. I have 4 common bonds in here, which are for sure going to be part of my sideboard. I get to, I get 2 one, 1 counters, and I get to place them wherever I want to. Uh, I have 2 Centaur Healers, and I have 2 Heroes Reunions. So, like I said, I haven't really decided definitely on what's going into my sideboard, but uh, hopefully in the future. Um, I do want to get rid of some of the regenerative properties of this, because that's not my main focus of the deck. So, maybe like the he Centaur Healers and the Heroes Reunion, I may get rid of them so I can put... Um, I know the one card I wanted was Advent of the Worm, which allows me to put a 5-5 five, five Worm creature onto the battlefield, which would be great for this deck, because it is uh, trying, it is an aggro deck. I want to get them from 20-0 to zero as fast as I possibly can. But thank you for tuning in today, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Until next time.